Hey, people. I, I see some of my favorite people out there. I got this new video camera from Costco, and it allows me to see you. It's amazing. Oh, man, you need to put some pants on. But anyway, I wanted to respond to the question uh, I asked on Facebook. Why did you stop playing guitar, uh, taking guitar lessons? One of the main answers is because your fingers hurt. They get sore. So that's probably because the strings on your guitar are too high off the fingerboard. That's called the action. You want low action. If you have high action, it, it hurts your fingers. They're too high. It's too hard to press down. So uh, you want to take that to a luthier who can adjust that for you, get low action. Okay, the other thing is that, that you can do yourself, is uh, you can detune your guitar. You know, you gotta turn these things up here. But get a guitar tuner, uh, so you're in pitch. You you're still wanna be in tune, but you're just tuning down a, a step or a half step. Okay, so that's the other thing. The other thing, if you're if you're playing, uh, if you're a beginner, the first couple of weeks you're learning how to play, you want to um, not practice more than 20 minutes at a time, and uh, you want to take a day off every now and then. You can play four or five days a week, um, and there are also things you can study about the guitar without actually putting your fingers on the guitar. Um, so you need a good teacher to tell you what to do, of course, but um, that'll help your fingers not get as sore. They're going to get sore anyway, a little bit. So, um, but think about the trade-off. For two weeks of having sore fingers, you know, you're going to get a lifetime of enjoyment out of playing the guitar, and and your friends and your family are going to benefit from that too, in fact, now the whole world can benefit from one person who plays a musical instrument. Um, and for two weeks of uh, sore fingers, that's not a bad trade-off. 